Hi there, it's Mr. P. In today's lesson, we're going to take a look at reported speech. Yes, Mr. P said that he would teach reported speech in his lesson. So let's get started. Okay, there are two types of speech. The first one is called the direct speech. And it is used to describe what someone said. We simply repeat what someone says, putting the phrase between speech marks. Indirect speech instead is used to report what someone said without speech marks and without necessarily using exactly the same words. Oh, don't be scared, Mr. P. It's all right. I will explain. So let's start with direct speech. I have a student named Maya. So Maya came in and said, I'm sorry I'm late. The teacher asked, what happened? Maya replied, my bus got stuck in traffic. The teacher said, it's because of the weather. So this is direct speech. It's basically reporting exactly the same words the speaker said. Now let's take a look at indirect or reported speech. So Maya came in and said she was sorry she was late. The teacher asked what had happened. Maya replied her bus had got stuck in traffic. The teacher said it was because of the weather. So now let's take a look at how to change direct speech to indirect speech. So when we use indirect or reported speech, the main verb of the sentence is usually past. Maya came in and said, I'm sorry I'm late. Maya came in and said she was sorry she was late. You may notice right there the verb to be becomes past. So, I am, I was, but not I was, but she was. I am late, she was late. Hmm, I will explain this later. Don't worry. So, let's see how the tense change. So, from direct speech on your left to indirect speech on your right. So, present simple do or does changes to past simple did. The present continuous, the verb to be am, are, is, changes to the past continuous, was or were. The present perfect, so with the auxiliary verb have, changes to the past perfect, with the auxiliary verb had. The past simple, did, changes to the past perfect, had. The future simple, will, changes to would. Can, changes to could. May, changes to might. Must, you can have must or had to, is your choice. Now, let's look at how other words change. This month, this day, will change to that month, that day. So here, will change to there. Today, will change to that day. Tomorrow, the following day. Yesterday, the day before. Last week, last month, will change to the previous week, the previous month. And then the pronouns I, you, will change to he, she, it depends on the person, right? We will change to they, and my will change to his or her. There are other changes, but we just need to concentrate on these ones. Oh, don't be sad, Mr. P, it's all right. So now, how do we report questions? Well, there are three things to consider. First, the verb or tense of the sentence, then the pronoun, and then the punctuation. So I highlighted these three items in three different colors. So the yellow is the tense or the verb of the, um, of the sentence. Then the pronoun is in blue, and then green is the punctuation. So for a sentence such as what time is it, the indirect sentence would be what time it was. 
Notice the way I say it. What time it was. Now, first is the pronoun, it, and then is the verb, was. The punctuation, instead of a question mark, is a period. In our next example, where are you from, the indirect sentence would be where I am from. Now, notice here that I didn't change tense, so I left the tense the same. I didn't change it. Why is that? I will give you a few minutes to think about it, and I will give you another example of the same situation. What do you do? So, in the indirect sentence would be what I do. Now, here again, the simple present stays the same. It doesn't change. If the situation is still the same, like uh, I am from Canada, I'm from China, I'm from Brazil, okay, they stay the same, right? So, what do you do? What is your job? I am a teacher. If the situation is the same, the tense stays the same. So, how about the fourth example? How are you? Now, the, the indirect sentence would be how I was. Here we need to change because maybe the situation changed. So, that's why we change it into the past tense. Now, let's take a look at the next example. What is he doing? What is he doing? what he was doing. So, again, notice the um, order of the words. So, in the question, we have the auxiliary first, then the pronoun, and then the main verb. In the indirect uh, sentence, we have the subject first, in this case is he, then we have the auxiliary verb or helping verb was, because it is in the past because it's indirect, so it's always in the past, we're taking one tense back, and then the, uh, the main verb stays the same. And again, the punctuation is a period, it's not a question. So remember that in the indirect um, sentence, it's not a question, it's always a sentence. So, for the next and final uh, question, where did he go? The question was in the past simple. So, in the indirect question would be one tense back. So, it would be in the past perfect. So, where he had gone. Hmm, is that clear? I hope so. So, now, what about reporting imperatives? Now, let's take a look at the first example. Mom said, drink all your milk. So, in the indirect uh, sentence would be Mom ordered to drink all my milk. Pay attention, I am reporting, so I use the pronoun my instead of your. Remember also not to use the uh, punctuation, just use the period. And one last thing to uh, add to, to the verb, to the main verb. Let's take a look at the second example. Don't be late, say Joe. Again, pay attention because I am reporting. So, I would say, Joe told me not to be late. And since it's negative, it's a negative imperative because he said don't be, I would say not to be late. So, I would use not plus the verb, the, the infinitive of the main verb, to be late. Let's take a look at the third example. Can you help me? She said to me. She asked me to help her. Again, for this question, just add to to the main verb. So, she asked me to help her. Now, the fourth example. Please slow down, said the instructor. In direct, it would be the instructor asked me to slow down. Again, to slow down. And the main verb is with a particle to, to slow down. For the last question, will you marry me? He blurted out. So you know that will is used for uh, requests, for polite requests. So then you would report that question as he asked her, and then again to 
marry him. To marry him. So now let's practice. Report the following sentences or questions. Yes, cool, Mr. P. Yes, you need to pause the video for five minutes and then I will give you your answer. Now that you have your answers ready, let's look at the key. Did you go out last night? She asked me if I had gone out the previous night. Two things to consider. If we have a yes or no question, remember to use if when you report it. So she asked me if. And then we changed the pronoun. So in the direct question was you, then in the reported would be I. And then remember to change the tense. So did you go out last night? So that's past simple. So then we have to change it into the past perfect. If I had gone out, and then don't forget to change last night. Okay, last night would be in direct speech. In indirect speech would be the previous night. So those are things to consider when you report a question in this case. So let's take a look at the second sentence. We are having dinner in the evening. She told me they were having dinner that evening. So in sentence number two, we have the present continuous. So then in the indirect sentence, we would have the past continuous, right? So we are having dinner. Remember to change the pronoun we to they. So they were having dinner. And then the time expression in the evening will change to that evening. Now let's take a look at number three. Lucy will come after the party. She said she would come after the party. So in this case, we have the future simple, and so we change will into would. Now the pronoun is the same, it's Lucy. So Lu Lucy said, and so she said, she would come after the party. For number four instead, what are you going to do at the weekend? So if we want to report that, we would write, she asked me what I was going to do that weekend. Now, if we consider that the uh, direct question was with the present continuous, then the indirect sentence would be with the past continuous. And we need to change also at the weekend into that weekend. For number five, I don't like chocolate. So in this case, um, we can report it as she told me she doesn't like chocolate. Why is that? Because it's still true. She doesn't like chocolate. So when we report a sentence that is still true or that is always true, we don't change tense. So let's recap. When changing the direct speech into the indirect or reported speech, remember to change number one, the tense, number two, the pronoun, number three, the time expression, and number four, the punctuation if necessary. Well, that's it for today. If you have any questions about this lesson, please post your question under this video. In the meantime, thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't, hit on the like button if you like the lesson, and share the lesson with your friends. Enjoy your day and see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.